Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is David. I hope you're all having a nice day. In today's video, I want to show you how you can digitally draw a Mandela sketch using Sketchbook Pro. For this tutorial, we'll be using a radial symmetry tool, which is ideal for this type of projects and for perfect sketching, they will have a symmetrical pattern in a circle. And alongside the radial symmetry tool, we'll be using the uh, steady stroke one. This tool allows you to draw cleaner lines in your sketch by delaying the path you take while sketching. So if you're having trouble on making your strokes go neat and well aligned, this tool can help you achieve clean and elegant looking lines without worrying too much on how you handle your pencil or pen tool. Now one thing to consider about the radial symmetry tool is that it only allows you for 16 replicas. So you'll only be able to replicate 16 times what you draw in one section. Now this might be a bummer if you want to get more detail on your design, however for this project 16 replicas will work just fine. So to begin with we need to make sure our tool is locked on the sketch since we don't want the symmetry to move anywhere while sketching. Since we'll start our mandala design very close to the center of the repositioning button of this tool. And we can do that by clicking on the lock tool within the parameters of the radial symmetry function. Now another thing I suggest is that you draw some guidelines or sections that will help you know your progress of your sketch. So in this case, for instance, I drew some random sketches on a separate layer and turned the opacity of those layers down. These random sketches will tell me how much is left before I finish with the section I'm working on. So from this point on, this becomes totally freehand. I'm not following any perspective rules or anything, just drawing random sketches uh, on one of the 16 sections of the uh, mandala. This is another advantage to use as many sections as possible in your designs since you can sketch little random things that will look coherent in a larger scale later on.
Now at this point we can see the mandala is finished, however I want to add more details to the sides to make the canvas look less empty. And I'll repeat the process of the entire mandala in a much smaller scale to make a small version of it on the right side, add some shadows and then duplicate the layer of this small mandala and copy the shadows as well to the left side of the canvas as you'll see here. Finally using the airbrush I'll add some highlights and then I can proceed to change the background color as desired. And we're done! Friends as always thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you did don't forget to hit that like button and share it so other people can see it as well. If you like what you saw and want to see more sketching projects please consider subscribing to the channel. I post videos on urban sketching, watercolors and more digital content as well. Again thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day!